Hey guys, it's your girl Jennifer Lamb, the crown jewel. And yes, I am back with another YouTube video. It's been a while. Things have been a little bit crazy, but the Lord said it is time for you to get back to your father's business. So I am um, sharing with you guys what the Lord shared with me this morning and so the title of this video is the promises of god still stand the promises of god still stands and so this morning i was in prayer with the lord and he gave me um, a number of visions that he wanted me to be able to share with you guys and so I have created a little bit of a movie clip to give you guys a visual of what he showed me. Um, so I spent the day uh, putting this together. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoy it and um, it brings um, additional revelation to you. Um, I've done these in the past and I haven't did one in a while and I kind of miss doing it. So I thought I would go on and do a movie clip today. And so again, the name of the title is The Promises of God Still Stands. And so as always, if this is a word for you, if you feel like this is a word for you, please take this back to the Lord. Please take me back to the Lord um, to see if this word is in fact for you. I want God to send the ears of people that are meant to hear my voice, that are meant to um, be a part of this channel, because not every word is for everyone and not everyone is for everyone. So again, the promises of God still stand. So to start out, the Lord gave me a vision of dentures. Yes, that's right, dentures. And so when we think about dentures, we see uh, gums and teeth. That's all dentures are, gums and teeth. And so one of the things the Lord was showing me about dentures was that uh, many of us, we are, um, we're uh, biting into the temptation of what the world is offering and we should be focusing in on the promises of God. And so when I seen these dentures, I seen that the dentures was just literally out in the world. You could see a big city and the dentures uh, was biting down on um things that were considered unhealthy for them. So we know that the enemy is going to try to send temptation our way when it comes to things of the world. The enemy's goal is to steal, kill, and destroy. And God is saying he needs for his children to get focused in on his plan because he has promises that he wants to deliver to you. He has promises that he wants to fulfill in your life. So the next thing that the uh, Lord showed me, he showed me uh, there were many bundles of ink pens. So there were like two big bundles of ink pens. And so with the ink pens, the Lord is saying, this is your time where you are supposed to become an author. You are supposed to be writing a book. He has called many of you guys to write books in this season. And we have, some of us, we've put this off. As many of you guys know, I'm an author. Um, God has downloaded so many books uh, for me and it's a part of the ministry that is going to be uh, for the kingdom of God even with me and my spouse so something you guys need to understand God is not just telling you to write a book just to be doing something there is purpose behind this book that you are going to be writing this is going to be a part of your ministry like I said what you may be doing with your spouse what you guys may be doing together to motivate and to encourage other people, to give other people the information that only you have that you can deliver to them. So there is a reason that God is calling you to write a book in this season. And so for many of you guys that may be interested in becoming an author, 
I am going to be delivering a class, a virtual class. Uh, this is something that the Lord has been telling me to do for over a year, and I have not did it yet, where he is calling me to uh, host the class for many people that don't know what to do when it comes to writing books, when it comes to being an author. It is one of the most rewarding things that you will ever do in your life. And that is writing a book and sharing that with the world based on the things that God has put in your mind, in your heart, in your spirit to deliver to the people in this world. So again, you know who you are. If you are an aspiring author, please be on the lookout for that class. But the first thing you need to do is start just writing. Once you start writing, God is going to line everything else up. And again, this is a part of God's perfect plan for your life, and it is tied in with your kingdom marriage. So the next thing that the Lord showed me, he showed me um, a vision of women in a, a beauty shop getting their hair done. Uh, there was one woman, she had rollers in her hair, and then there was another woman, she, had, uh, she was getting her hair done as well. And so... As you know, for many of you women, God has already told you this is your marriage season. I've talked about this before. This is your marriage season. You are supposed to be in preparation for this marriage that God is about to bring together. Now, God is not playing with you guys. <laughs> he is not playing with you guys. That's why he's going to keep highlighting the same things to a lot of the prophetic voices because many of us, we're not, we're not doing what we're supposed to be doing. And I will be the first to say, I was uh, supposed to be looking for my wedding dress long ago. I have not even did that yet. So it's time for us to start, start doing what we're supposed to do and stop playing around because God is ready to bring these marriages together. So if you are a woman and you know that God has told you that this is your marriage season, what are you supposed to be doing to prepare yourself? Okay, so the next vision that the Lord gave me, he gave me a vision of a man in a tuxedo. And then he also gave me a vision of men's uh, dress pants that were hanging on a hanger. So this is the Lord letting you know your husband for the wives out there. And you know that this is your season for marriage. God he already has your husband ready, but he's waiting on you to do what he has told you to do in regards to this marriage promise. And so again, it's time for us to get on our business, ladies. It is time for us to get on our business when it comes to these marriages. There is a part that you have to play. God is not going to do everything for you. And this even goes for the men out there that may be listening to this and you feel like this is a word for you. You have to partner with God. There's a part that you have to play. There's a part that you have to play. So let's partner with God and start setting some goals when it comes to these marriage promises. Okay, so the next thing I seen was a sailing ship. So the sailing ship, it represents, uh, one of the things a sailing ship can represent is a believer. Are you standing on the promises of God? Do you believe? If not, it's time to amp up your faith and start believing again because God is going to do this thing. He's going to do what he said he is going to do. Okay, so the next thing that the Lord showed me, he showed me a wedding venue. It was a wedding venue where there were people already seated at the wedding. And so there was a man, a groom to be, he walked into the venue with a suitcase. He had on regular street clothes, like a hoodie and some jeans. And he walked into the venue and he opened up the double doors where the ceremony was taking place. And he was able to see all the guests that were waiting. 
And so once again, this is the Lord telling you, you are this close. You are so close to this marriage promise coming together. You are so close. And so uh, this is um, a vision almost like, you know, let's just say you're a part of uh, a wedding party and many people in, uh, that's a part of the wedding party, they will bring their things that they're going to wear to the wedding and they may go upstairs to a room to get dressed in their wedding attire or down a hall or what have you. So this is the Lord saying once again, the uh husbands to be they they are ready to go and for the husbands to be that may be listening to this god is basically he's basically giving you the go ahead he's going to give you the go ahead to start planning and doing certain things to put into place so he can bring you into union with your kingdom wife your wife to be so um let me see i have some things written down here okay okay so the next thing that i seen and i don't want you guys to get freaked out about this but sometimes the lord shows me all types of things and i i can't always i believe what he's showing me but it's like lord you're really showing me this like how am i gonna deliver this word to these people they you know i don't want people to think that i'm crazy but i'm gonna just put it out there and you have to be led by the spirit of the lord with whatever i'm giving you once again so the next vision that the lord gave me he gave me a vision of many mannequins in wedding dresses and there were um the, these uh wedding these mannequins in these wedding dresses they were in a big room with big windows it was a really um it was a really nice luxury room so this is the lord showing you once again you need to go and pick out your wedding dress just go and start looking this is how we start putting things this is how we start to partner with god in the spirit we st we start praying over what he's given us and then we take action in the physical so i need you guys to start going to physically look for your wedding dresses because again the lord is about to bring this thing together and now that i have um, a little bit more time on my schedule this is something that i'm going to be doing really soon so the other thing that the lord showed me after the uh the visions of the mannequins he showed me um women twirling around and dancing that were in wedding dresses so these are brides to be now the next thing he showed me was a woman coming in with a gun to try to steal the marriage promise from these women so this is the enemy once again trying to send counterfeits trying to send uh witches and things of that nature to try to steal your promise because of some of you guys you may no longer believe that this is gonna uh, happen some of you guys may have been in doubt the entire time that god is not gonna do a thing but guess again yes he is so again you got to get in alignment with god you got to get on board with what he has shown you and what he's promised you because as soon as you start to doubt as soon as you start and as, as soon as you start saying and you continue to say i don't want this marriage i don't want to do this i that's that's when the enemy is coming in full force he's gonna try to put deception in your mind and now we have to we have to start from scratch again so again a lot of us we've come too close we have to keep pushing keep believing keep standing that god is gonna do this thing when it comes to our future when it comes to our kingdom marriages when it comes to our ministry and so i even have a testimony for you guys um something that i um uh, i experienced recently and that was another reason why i had stopped doing videos for a while but i'm gonna put that in an entire different video i just want to stick with what the lord gave me um this morning 
So again, the enemy, he's sending these attacks to try to uh, put d disbelief in your mind and to try to steal your marriage promise. The enemy, he's never going to stop. He's never going to stop, but he's not more powerful than God. And so the Lord is saying, continue to believe, continue to stand because he's bringing these marriages together. He's bringing you a more prominent future. The things that you've been standing on, the things that you've been believing for, don't stop believing now because God is, he's going to bring it all together. So it is time for you guys basically to get back on your prayer posts, like Tequila Coleman would say, get back on your prayer posts. Um, so yeah, it is time guys. If you feel like you've been, um, you know, sliding down the ropes and you feel like you no longer believe it's becoming too, too much, just keep standing, keep believing in God. You're going to see the power of the Lord. Okay. And so the next vision that I sing, once again, it was, um, another sailboat and it was like i was underwater and it was all these fish uh, fishes that were around me so once again the sailboat is representing the believer and so what the lord was showing me with this vision he's about to release he's uh, releasing many fishes many suitable spouses that are going to be just for you so this is a word even for a man or a woman Okay, he's releasing many suitable uh, spouses that are going to be coming into union. Now, this uh, the spouses they could be a prodigal, uh, they could be a non-believer, but God, he once he releases power, you're going to see these people in a totally different light. They're going to be walking in a different way, talking in a different way. They're not going to be perfect, but they're going to be ready to submit to the will of God. And even if you don't know these people, there's many of you guys you do not know who your kingdom spouse is god is releasing um if you just if you look if you're looking at the picture of all these fishes these are all the uh kingdom spouses that's being released and so i need you guys to basically catch those fish catch a fish with your net okay if you uh, now catch that in the spirit if you can <laughs> okay so yes god is releasing many prominent um kingdom spouses and if he's uh gave you a word that you are to be a, a wife or a husband know that your spouse is coming and they're they're going to be swimming towards you okay so the next vision that i had was of um a mother uh holding and reading to her daughter so uh the mother represents the holy spirit and so the lord wants you to continue to dive into your word and he wants you to start making time for him um i and like i said a lot of um things that the lord shows me and give me this doesn't just go for you guys a lot of it it goes for me too so i will even say um these past couple of weeks i've been so busy with other things you know i i have not even made the type of time that i'm used to making for god but now i'm back where i needed to be where i need to be and so again god wants you to be able to spend more time with him so he can continue to give you clarity so he can continue to give you information about what's to come anything that we want to know we can go before god a lot of us um we want to trust uh the word of a prophet a prophetic voice but as i've told you guys in the past the same way you hear from a prophetic voice you can hear from the lord yourself i used to be so into needing to get a word i i, I feel like i need a word from somebody lord i'm so grateful that the lord has allowed me to hear from him myself and so you guys can do the same thing but you got to make that time for the lord you got to make that time for him because there is more that he wants to reveal to you okay and so um the next vision that i had 
It was of a woman that was sitting by her bed and she was uh, she was praying and crying, praying and crying. She was just crying out and praying. And so the Lord allowed me to kind of feel what she had felt and she was tired. She had felt like giving up because she had been standing and believing on these promises for so long. And she felt like these things were not ever going to come to pass. And so I think this is something that we can all relate to. But what we don't understand is that God's timing is not our timing. There are things that he's doing behind the scene that we cannot even see. And so a lot of times this is what takes so long. Sometimes it's because of the things that we may be wrapped up in, or there's just certain things that has to take place before God delivers this promise to you. But God is an on-time God. I can't tell you how many times I have just gotten frustrated. I've wanted to give up because I'm like, Lord, when when is this going to happen? <laughs> know how much more of this I can take. And so I know there's a lot of you guys that have been praying when it comes to your kingdom love story, your kingdom marriage, and other things that you want to see happen in your future. And you just feel like you can't take anymore. You can't take it any anymore. But the Lord said, you're too close to turn back. I'm doing this thing. I I'm doing this thing and you are too close to turn back. So keep pressing, keep believing, and keep standing. So it is time for you guys to get your faith back, stay encouraged, and know that God is going to come through. God is going to come through. He's an on-time God. He loves each and every one of his children, and he's going to do exactly what he said he's going to do. Okay, so the next vision that the Lord gave me, it was in a parking garage and it was of a person that had a knife, okay? Now, again, I don't want to scare you guys with these visions, but uh, it was in a parking garage. And so, okay, so the parking garage, it represents um two things it represents um when you think about a garage it represents um in one case it represents needing a spiritual tune-up so again many of you guys who feel like you can't do this you're tired or you're tired of waiting you're tired of believing the lord is telling you to get back on your a game the Lord is telling you to continue to believe. You need a spiritual tune-up. So this is your time to go before the Lord and just submit yourselves before him again. And he's going to reveal things to you. He's going to reveal things to you. Once again, I know that it's hard, but we have to keep pressing in because we're too close. And so another thing, when you see parked cars, that are in a garage that can uh, that can represent uh, um, a ministry that is waiting for you. And so again, like I've said in the past, these kingdom marriages they are bigger than us. They are bigger than what we can even even see. Now, again, like I've said, a lot of times we think about the love and all the good things that we want to do with our kingdom spouses and, you know, love on them and all these different things. But God, he's going to reward you with those things when you come into union with your kingdom spouse. But there is more that you and your spouse is going to have to do. There is more that God is calling for you and your kingdom spouse to do for the kingdom of God. And so, like I said, for many of you guys, you're going to have a ministry. You may be uh, supporting a ministry from uh, the, um, the background, from behind the scenes. You have a part to play in the kingdom. And this is another reason why these marriages, why, why certain things in your future is taking so long because now the enemy sees who you are. He sees who you are. He sees the giant 
that you are going to be for the kingdom. And so for many of you guys, you are, you've gotten attacked. <laughs> and like I said, I, I know I have been attacked spiritually, but I have to keep going. I, I have to keep going. We have to keep going no matter what it looks like, no matter what we may feel like, God has something higher that he is calling you and your kingdom spouse to. And so again, there is a ministry, there is a work that you are supposed to be doing in the kingdom. There's a work that you're supposed to be doing and you're going to be blessed behind that. There's so much that's going to come with uh, these kingdom marriages and these ministries, when everything comes together, God is just going to literally blow you guys' mind. He's going to blow your mind. Believe what I am telling you. So that is for the situation with the parking garage. Okay, so like I said, there was a person, you, that were that was in the garage holding a knife. And so the knife, it represents protection. God is needing you to put on the full armor of God. He wants you to put the plant, the, uh, the words of the Lord on your heart, on the tablet of your heart. You have to come with the full armor of God. This is the only way that you are going to get through these attacks that you're dealing with. Okay, so the knife represents protection. He's going to give you what you need to protect yourself. And that's simply the word of the Lord. Okay, so the next thing that I seen was um, I seen a, a police policeman and I seen firemen. So not only is God going to uh, allow you the power and the strength to be able to protect yourself, he's sending you double protection. He's sending holy angels to protect you. So that is what the, the authorities represent when it comes to the firemen and the policemen. That is double protection that the Lord is sending for you. The, the, the enemy is trying to rip all of this stuff apart and discourage you. And the Lord is saying, no, you are more powerful than what you know. You're bigger than what you know. You're going to be a giant in the kingdom. And not only that, I'm sending giants from the spiritual realm, which is my holy angels to give you double protection, double protection. So believe what I say, God, uh, guys, I hope that you guys are really getting something from this message. I really hope you do. Um, because I, even I'm excited with what the Lord has downloaded with this message. I'm very excited. So I'm hoping that those who have been discouraged, you are ready to keep, um, fighting the good fight because the Lord, like I said, he's about to blow your mind, literally. Okay, so the next thing that the Lord showed me, he showed me a bride and a groom that were joining hands and they were dancing in heaven. They were dancing in heaven. And then I seen the married couple, they were on the beach together in the physical. So this is the Lord showing you whatever is to happen, whatever is to come, it has to first happen in the spirit. So the Lord is showing me it's already these marriages and everything that God has spoken over your life and promised you, it has already taken place in the spiritual realm. It has already taken place in the heavenly realm and he's getting ready to bring this thing together in the physical, in the natural. So I need you guys to get excited about this. I need you guys to get excited. Whatever is to come, it first must happen in the spirit. And then it is going to be fulfilled and delivered to you on a silver platter in the natural, in the physical. Okay, so the next vision that I seen was a referee. And it was like he was on... Um, Let's just say um, it was um, 
like on a court for like a basketball court or for a, a boxing court where there were uh, boxers, basically a referee, a sports referee. Well, just think about whatever your favorite sports may be. So for this little movie clip, I'm going to use boxing. But uh, what the Lord is sh uh, was showing me with this vision is that um, he wants you to be eager to play this game. He wants you to be eager to play the game. And that's the game of faith. That's the game of believing because you're going to be a winner at the end of the day. You're going to be a winner. And so the referee is the Holy Spirit. He's the Holy Spirit and he's going to help you through this situation. But you have to keep believing, become eager about what the Lord has promised you. Okay. And so you are going to win you are going to win but again you have to believe it and you have to not give up don't give up god is gonna do this thing and so the referee like i said that is the holy spirit the holy spirit is gonna guide you and lead you and he's gonna allow you to experience victory the lord is going to allow you to experience victory in this situation he's not going to allow you to get hurt in this situation so god is saying do not give up keep going keep pushing get eager get excited about what he's about to do because he's allowing you to win this game He's allowing you to win this game. Okay, so the next thing, and I know people don't like when a lot of prophetic voices speak about counterfeits, but at the end of the day, like I've told you guys in the past, I can only give you what the Lord has given me. So in this vision, I seen a counterfeit woman that was dressed in an all black wedding dress. And she was on a beach dock and she jumped off of the dock so this is the lord showing me that basically many of these counterfeits while they may have um something that they're supposed to be doing in their lives they may have someone that they're supposed to be with the the kingdom spouse that you know that is yours they are not supposed to be with these uh these kingdom spouses a lot of these counterfeits they've made made it up in their mind that this i'm gonna spend my life with this this kingdom spouse they're falling into agreement with the plans of the enemy and they've made plans that this this kingdom spouse that is really yours is going to be theirs and the lord is saying no you are not i'm not allowing the enemy to override what i have set in place and so a lot of these counterfeits like i said they have come into agreement with the enemy and at the end of the day if they don't submit to the will of god which is a totally different plan for their life there's going to be death and destruction there's going to be death and destruction because anytime you try to come into the plans of God, there is something that is coming, something that is coming for you that, that is just not going to be good. And at the end of the day, God is showing me is a lot of these kingdom spouses that are with these counterfeits. These, these situations, they're dying off because it is time for the kingdom spouses to be with who God has created for them. So again, many of the counterfeits, they have come into agreement with the enemy. The color black, it, rep it represents darkness and evil. They have come into agreement with the enemy. I want you guys to hear me loud and clear because I have heard people or seeing people get in the comments that will challenge what I'm saying about the counterfeits. And I don't have anything against anybody, but again, you're going against the will of God. You're going against the will of God. And so there's a price to pay for that when you decide you are coming into agreement with the kingdom of darkness. And so there's a price to pay and that's all that i can say about that but a lot of these situations god is saying this is it these situations are dying off so many of you guys that are upset you're you've been crying um you've been heartbroken about your kingdom spouse being with these counterfeits 
The Lord is saying it's nothing else for you to, it's nothing for you to worry about. There's nothing for you to be heartbroken about because no word of God will ever fall to the ground. No word of God will ever fall to the ground. Yeah, God allowed um, these kingdom spouses to be with counterfeits. But again, I've talked about this before. A lot of these kingdom spouses that have decided to be with counterfeits, it was necessary for them to be with these counterfeits in order for you, in order for them to see your value. In order for them to see your value, many of them, they have had to get burnt in a bad and eat uh, in a bad way because they went uh, against the voice of the lord they went against the plan of the, the the lord when the lord was trying to warn them and a lot of them if they were prodigals they couldn't hear they probably couldn't even hear the lord all the time because they were in in agreement with the kingdom of darkness they were in agreement but the lord is saying he's shutting everything down he does not change his mind your whole life has been mapped out your kingdom spouse has been mapped out and he is bringing the two of you guys together so again you may as well say at the end of the day the counterfeit situation is a dead -it situation it's a the, the counterfeit jumped off the dock in a black dress so guys look know that god is gonna do what he said he's gonna do and that's all that i need you guys to focus on the plan of the lord is gonna come forth in this season and in this time and you're gonna be you're gonna be happier than you ever thought that you could be but just remember when god brings these marriages together remember his name remember god because it just it doesn't just stop when the marriages come together, there's still a work that has to be done. Two fleshes are becoming one and you and your spouse, you guys have a work to do in the kingdom. You have a work to do in the kingdom. Okay, I'm almost done here. Okay, so the next vision that I seen, it was of um, a plus size woman and um she uh basically she was walking so this is the lord saying um and you may not be plus size but a lot of there may be some of you guys um you you the lord wants you to have confidence you may he may you may have confidence but he wants you to have even more confidence he wants you to look your best for your kingdom spouse okay and so this is a piece that's for the woman but it, it i i don't want to say it doesn't matter how you look because you want to look great for your kingdom spouse but at the end of the day the is bigger than the kingdom spouse the lord wants you to be confident in your walk in your ministry the things that you are gonna uh, about to do he's about to put you on platforms for the war the world to see that may be youtube that may be standing on stages you may be in magazines you don't know what god is gonna do i don't know what he has told you guys some things are revealed some things are not only you know your situation but even whatever you know about your situation god doesn't give it all to us but he's telling you he wants you to start walking for your health and this is even a word for me because i told god i don't want my kingdom spouse even though the lord has already said it doesn't matter you know how you look what size you are i'm this person is coming from me they are gonna love you regardless but it's about how you feel on the inside like i said god is getting ready to put you guys on platforms you're getting ready to motivate uh men and women children things of this nature you gotta look feel your best okay so you can be able to motivate and encourage other people so it goes beyond us all this that the lord is telling us to do all this that the lord is preparing us for it goes beyond us so he is saying to start if you know that you may want to you know get, become more healthier the lord said to start walking 
he start said to start walking every day. So you may want to start maybe three times um, a day. He just said start walking for uh, better health and for um, for the purpose of exercising. So I know this is um, also a word for me. Okay. So after I seen the vision of the uh, the plus size woman walking, the next vision that I seen was the woman, she was on a beach in a bikini. And so this is the Lord saying for many of you guys, you may wanna be in better health, you may wanna be a smaller size, he's gonna walk this thing out with you. But again, he needs you to get, get in alignment with him he needs you to partner with him he can't do it all for you he's already put the power in you to do the very thing that he is calling you to do so he needs you to get started and he's going to help you along the way and your reward is going to be um a new uh, you're going to have a healthier mind you're going to have um a new figure basically if that's what you if that's what you want um only only you guys know if that that part is for you but he showed me that he's gonna give uh many of the kingdom women that want better health you're uh, once you get started with walking that's that's the first direction then he may give you some uh different uh set of directions in terms of what to eat not uh what to eat and what not to eat but he's just saying start with walking and he's going to continue to lead you on this uh, health journey and he's going to surprise you and show you who you can become in the kingdom, uh, not only spiritually, but physically. And again, we got to look and feel our best because there's a work that he's getting ready to do in us when it comes to the kingdom there's you know and not only that i have a separate word but you know we also want to look good for our spouses too so we got to start making time god wants you to be around a long time he wants you to be healthy inside and out but like i said for those of you guys that know that you know you may want to be healthier he's saying start with walking start with walking 30 minutes a day, just start, get, just get started where, wherever that may be. Okay. So the last part of this that the Lord showed me, it, um, it's basically it's, it's simple. Somebody is going to be getting a phone call. <laughs> Somebody is going to be getting a phone call. I don't know what the conversation is going to be. This could be for a man or a woman. I seen a vision of a man sitting on the couch, picking up the phone and talking. So um, somebody is going to be getting a phone call. There may be several phone calls coming in, but just get ready. Make sure your ringer is on. I don't know what it may be from the kingdom spouse. Um, if it's a kingdom spouse that you've been standing and believing for, it may be somebody that the lord has said that this is your this is your person this is your husband and this is your wife but you may not have been in a relationship with them before um you don't you, we don't know how god is going to do a thing when it comes to these marriages but basically a phone call is coming in so i'm saying this even to myself because i keep my ringer off a lot <laughs> I keep my ringer off a lot. So if you're somebody that keep your ringer off, um, you may want to turn on your ringer and make sure, and I'm speaking to myself as well, make sure that your voicemail is clear where a message can be left. Because again, the Lord showed me phone calls are about to come in. This could be the kingdom man, the kingdom husband making a phone call to the kingdom wives or the kingdom wives may be reaching out to the kingdom um the kingdom husband so that is that guys that is all that the lord gave me i do want to give you guys scripture with this um hopefully this um helps somebody out there hopefully you guys enjoyed the video clip and so um again the title of this video is the promises of god still stands and so the lord led me to isaiah 14 and 24 and it reads the lord of hosts has sworn 
saying, just as I have intended, so it has certainly happened. Just as I have planned, so it will stand. Again, I'm going to read that again. Isaiah 14 and 24. The Lord of hosts has sworn, saying, just as I have intended, so it has certainly happened. And just as I have planned, so it will stand. So keep standing on the promises of, uh, of God, guys. Just as the Lord has planned it, just as the Lord has said it, believe that it is going to happen. It is going to happen. This is your girl, Jennifer Lynn, the crown jewel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys next time.